Um, hey guys, uh, so today we're going to be talking about vector scopes and using them to your advantage to match color in your project. Um, so I've so I have a I have these clips and with CineStyle, if anyone uses CineStyle, it gives you very like low contrast and look. So what I did is I color corrected this clip, and this is how I want basically the whole scene to look. The sky is very bright. Let me get this view up so you can see that better. Um, all right. Well, yeah, um, as you can see, the sky is very bright, and it, grass is nice, everything's very very nice and vibrant. So I have a bunch of other clips, um, and with the clips from the same angle, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste onto, uh, onto those clips uh, to paste the same color correction. But on this, it's a different shot, so I'm going to have to copy and paste it, and then try to match it up uh, as close as I can. This isn't the final shot I want to use. It's a little badly composed, but I'll deal with that later. So what I'm going to do is I just copied uh, Command-C. You double-click the clip that you want to copy, and then you can click Command-C. And then you select the clip that you want to apply that to. You go to Edit, Paste, Attributes, uh, Effects, because those are everything I want on it. Alright, so that doesn't look bad. It looks, uh, it looks very, it looks very bright on the grass and the trees blend into the sky a little too much. So I want to fix that. And this is where your vector scopes come into play. Um, so, uh, the vector scope, uh, let's say you don't have it up at all. You would be like this. And then you would be like, this okay so this is your normal screen to get to your vector scopes you're going to go up here show video scopes um, and then under this menu just like that under settings you click select vector scope um, you can you can do it with the histogram um, in the waveform but I think the vector scope would work better for our circumstance um, so the vector scope basically shows the colors and the image um, on the color wheel and then I'm going to compare that with this color wheel. So the green, it seems like in the clip that I want, is a little higher and to the left. And everything's basically a little higher to, to the left. So we're going to go to our color correction that we, already that we already pasted. This is my sky color correction. And this is my normal color correction. We're going to go into here. And we're going to mess around with it until we get it how we want. This is the hard part, because you kind of just have to get the feel of it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay, and then the green, and then I need to go to, let's, do, let's go to my highlights. Ah. Okay, now let's compare that. This clip looks better. Um, my only problem is the grass. The grass seems a little bright. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. Exposure. Um, no. Let's go to midtones. And yeah. That's pretty accurate to the other one. Um, you, you mess with it a little more and you'll get more precise with it. Uh, but yeah, that's just the basic tutorial. Thank you.